Hello? Hi. Yes, I had sent in the details of a, a problem with a van for the con line that, that starts and then cuts off. And apparently this has happened numerous times. And the, the last time, they just couldn't get it to stay running, and, and we had to spend 300 to get it towed. And then the place where we towed it said there's no, they can't buy anything wrong. Problem. I can certainly um, give you some ideas and some possible causes uh, if you would like. So let's back up a little bit. 2010 Ford van, is that right? Okay. And what size engine do we have? I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not near the, the vehicle. That's right. Because they have a they have a 4.6 V8 or they have a 5.4. But I think they're they're pretty darn similar. So we're going to go with a 5.4. And you said it stalls okay. at times. Is that right? Yeah. And then does it start back up after it stalls? Well, uh, apparently uh, they were returning on it from a short trip yesterday and uh, it, it kept doing it. So they ended up having it towed. And it, it wouldn't yeah. start back up is what you're saying. Is that correct? Well, I'm not saying that it wouldn't, but it kept quitting. And I guess they finally just had it towed somewhere. And then the place said they can't find anything wrong with that. This doesn't make any sense to me. Well, based on my experience, there could be a couple different possible causes. Do you have something to write with? Sure. All right. First is going to be an air or a vacuum leak. Second is going to be a faulty fuel pump. Third is going to be faulty crankshaft position sensor. And then the third one? Crankshaft position sensor. And then you can write down camshaft position sensor. And then this vehicle uses something called a mass airflow sensor. I'm sorry. And what's the other one? The, Ma the last one? Mass airflow sensor. Now, are these extremely expensive things to fix? No, they're not. And do you have any idea why a mechanic would, with all those possibilities, is saying they can't find anything wrong? My guess is that there's no codes in the computer, and maybe it wasn't acting up when he got a hold of the vehicle. That would be my guess. All right. And, and what are you saying about codes? Well, there should usually there's stored trouble codes in the computer. Right, but this is an old, old vehicle. Well, right? it's 2010. It's going to have a computer on it, and the computer should still okay. re record functions if the computer is picking up the problem so you could ask him if you haven't done so ask him hey did you check for codes and if you check for stored history or pending codes and he should have that answer for you he's probably going to say no there's no codes and that would explain why he doesn't have an, an answer for you why would there not be a code if it has happened because the computer is not seeing the problem okay all right so i guess we can call him and, and explain these things, and if he's still, and they're, they're keeping it for another day to see if they can um, find something, but um, I, I guess we'll just have to take it someplace else, and uh, this, but if it is a problem where it's not in the code, they'll just have to down the line and try all these things. I, I just don't want to be throwing money, good money after bad, having it towed, and right. having nobody able to find the problem. Right, exactly. Do that. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much. I will share this with people who where we took it and see if there's any of these things that they could possibly see. All right. Thank you very much for your help. Appreciate You're welcome. It. You bet.